Hello, I'm Matt from Ludovox.fr and today I'm going to give you an overview of Snail Race. And Snail Race is a racing game and a push your luck game for 2 to 4 players ages 6 and up and it plays for around 20 minutes. This game is all about you little snails and you want to get to the other side of the deck because there's, this, there's the garden, there's your friends and you want to meet them. So you will play turn after turn and you're going to flip those cards and those cards are going to help you out and it's a push alert game. So you will start with the first stack and then move on to the second stack if you want. And if you still want and didn't uh, bust, you can go to the third stack and so on. On my turn, I will simply reveal the card from the first stack. And the water droplets will have me move up one space per droplet. So in this case, just one space. And then we move on to the second stack if I want to. But I can stop at any point after the first card and uh, that will not give me any penalty and I will simply give the other players uh, the go. So I will be a brave snail and I will simply flip another card from the second stack this time. I have two water droplets so I will move up two spaces. But then the other cards, the threes and fours, they can be very, very interesting, but also they can be very damaging. So I will stop there, I think uh, I'm going to stop there and I will let the next player, which is the yellow player, uh, take that turn. So they will flip the card from the first stack, advance one space, then they will choose to move on to the second stack and they have a special tile. If they do have a special tile, they will place it into their hand instead of into the bin. And these tiles can be played for various effects. So we have four different effects that we can trigger. I will go on to them later. And then they feel confident and they want to continue. That player will take a card from the third stack now. So they reveal one and it's suns. And snails don't like suns. So for each sun, you move back one space. And you cannot go beyond uh, the start line, of course. And if you reveal suns, you will simply end your turn there. And that's very important as well. So that's it for the basic gist of the game. Now, as I told you, there are four different types of tiles, of special tiles. We have salads. Whenever you have a salad in hand and you get sun, you can simply discard the salad, place it into the bin to avoid sunlight. However, you will still stop your turn, but you will not move back. And this is very important. Uh, you will have the, uh, the snail. And whenever a player advances, thanks to water droplets, you can have them move back one space as well. The umbrella prevents other players from benefiting from the uh, water droplets if you discard them and place them into the bin. And you have the frog. When you play the frog, you will simply look at the first card of the next stack, allowing you to essentially have more information and take a better decision. Because you will know if it's a special tile, if it's uh, sunlight or droplets. And this is, again, very important if you want to move forward in the game. So the snails are going to simply move up and up, and sometimes they move down. But at some point, you will cross the pond here. And this is a very important space, because every time you should go back beyond the pond, you get stuck here. This is a checkpoint, essentially. So the game will continue and the snails are going to move up and up turn after turn. And once a player reaches the finish line, the game is over and they win. So obviously you want to take risks because as I told you, these cards from the last, uh, the last stacks, they are very interesting, but they can also be very damaging. So basically you want to take risks, but maybe not too much. And you want to uh, move up to the finish line to be the first snail and win the game. That's it for Snail Race. Now, bye-bye. See you in Ludovox.fr.